Hi everyone, Petal is Bliss is here. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm coming on to share with you guys a wedding centerpiece that I'm going to make, a floral wedding centerpiece that I'm going to make. So let's get into the items that we'll need for this DIY. Okay, we have these mirrors that I got from Dollar Tree. There's this size one and then there's this one at the bottom, it's a little bigger. And we're also gonna be using the square mirrors from Dollar Tree. And the candle holders from the Dollar Tree. And I have this foam ball that I cut in half. And we have some flowers I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have my blinged out gems. I'm gonna be using the small sizes because you can find these sizes at Walmart, you guys. And our handy glue gun. And I think I'll be spray painting the, the mirrored frames but I had forgotten to bring the spray paint with me it will be a silver metallic spray paint all right everyone let's get started okay so we spray painted the mirror frame in a metallic now we're just gonna bling it out with this um, bling wrap that I had gotten from Dollarama <laughs> And now we're going to be adding some gems to the tray. Which the gems I also got from Dollarama. I'm just going to be adding the gems all around the tray, you guys. Right round. And now we'll be adding some gems to the candlestick. Just going straight down in a pattern. And here we go. All blinged out. <laughs> and now for this candlestick, I'll just be putting the gems straight around this, just the top part. Going right around. I'll be doing two candlesticks with this pattern. Going all the way around just at the top. And now we're going to glue our candlesticks to our small mirrors. I'm using the glue gun just for quick purposes, but you can use the E6000 and glue these down. It will give it a more firm and better hold to me. <laughs> our second mirror, we're going to glue this candlestick down with the top part facing down. The first one I did the bottom part onto the, the glass. This one I did the smaller part onto the glass. And now the first one, I'm going to go back and put the next candlestick over it. And make sure you hold the candlesticks together for about a minute or so to make the glue, make sure it's holding very well. I've taken my hands off of it too soon and it has fallen apart, you guys. So just hold it firm and then it's fine. See, just like this. And now we're just going to add our flowers to the foam ball, the half foam ball. Stick the flowers in all about until you can't see none of the foam ball and you have a nice round bunch of flowers. And here's our finished look you guys. I placed the flower arrangement on top of the tall candlestick holders with the mirror on top so the foam ball just sits nicely onto the mirror. The square mirror on top. I think it looks very nice. On the smaller um, mirrored candle holder, I put this blinked out round candle holder, which I think is very nice, adds a nice added touch to it. And the tray looks very nice, a very nice wedding centerpiece for your table. Okay. I was okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
much different frame of mind. Switch it up. If you need advice, girl, don't take this. Take mine. All right, everyone. I hope I've come up with another DIY Dollar Tree wedding centerpiece <laughs> that you can use for your special occasion. And I'd like to say thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I came up with today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So you can see more of the DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys. Alright everyone, remember as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.